Hey guys, what's up? It's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. You guys already know the deal. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. I'm on the road to 500K, so help me get there, guys. But today's video is all about how I maintain my hair straight for up to a month. You guys have been asking me so many questions about it. You're like, girl, how is your hair so straight? How do you keep it straight for that long? But guess what day it is today? Today is day 26, and this is how my hair looks. Obviously, it does not look the same way, you know, when I first did it, but I think it still looks pretty good. It's still in pretty much good condition. Um, my hair still smells blessed. It smells great. I actually had somebody smell my hair by accident. They smelled it by accident, and they're like, oh my gosh, your hair smells good. I was like, really? Like, I was like kind of embarrassed because I was like, what are they going to say? But yeah, they said my hair smelled good, so... My hair smells good guys, don't worry about that. I can say that I do have a little bit of dandruff and my scalp does itch at times, like really badly. But other than that, like my hair is still looking pretty good. Um, yeah, it still moves and everything, so I'm happy about that. And guys, I can count on how many fingers I actually worked out, so yeah. Um, I'm not really a sweater either, so I don't really have that problem with sweating my hair out too much. Um, of course it does like in the roots and the back of my hair and stuff like that or the back of my head But that's pretty much it. And I know some of you guys are gonna be like ew girl. You're nasty. You're nasty. Go wash your hair Mind your business. Okay, this is my hair so I can do whatever I want to it And if people tell me my hair smells good and it still looks great then I'm fine with it Okay, and I'm gonna rock my straight hair out as long as I want because I only really do it one time a year So I'm gonna take full advantage of it. So I don't want to hear that BS, okay? Moving on, if you guys are interested to see my tips, tricks, and products that I use to maintain my hair straight for three weeks to a month, definitely keep watching. All right, so the first thing I do is wrap my hair, and I do this every single day after I straighten my hair for one week, and this is just to maintain the straightness of it because I want it to be nice and sleek and straight, and that's definitely a given. If you straighten your hair, you definitely want to wrap it almost every day. If you don't, you can get like crinkles in your hair and all that and you, it won't last that long. The only unfortunate thing is that if you do it every single day, you can get like breakage at the side because it gets really tight on either side or whatever side you do it on. So that's why after a week's time frame, I do it every three to four days. Okay guys, so this is my hair on day 15 and I'm just gonna show you guys how I wrap my hair. The first thing I do is examine my ends and usually by this time they're looking pretty dry. So I like to go in with my cheese silk infusion and I like to apply a little bit of this only to the ends of my hair. And I noticed that if you consistently do wraps and you apply oil to your hair, your hair will get super, super oily and weigh it down. So that's not what you want. You just wanna apply it to your ends and then get on to wrapping. So right now I'm making a deep side part and I'm using my favorite Revlon blow dryer paddle brush which I do have a video on so check it out down below. I will leave the link there. But yeah, now I'm just going to brush my hair all down and I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and smooth. So as you can see I'm just brushing my hair so it's nice and flat. And like I said, once it reaches this point I only wrap my hair every 3-4 to four days. And that's just going to increase the longevity of this hairstyle. So once my hair is all smooth, I'm going to take the side where, you know, there's less hair and I'm just going to take a little bit of it and I'm going to brush it out and then I'm going to flip it over to the side where there's more hair, sort of like a comb over type of thing. So I'm just going to make sure to smooth that down into the rest of the hair and then I'm going to take another small section from the opposite side and I'm going to bring it over again, just swoop it over like a comb over. And guys, when I tell you I am not an expert at this, I'm not an expert. Like, this was actually the best wrap that I did, and I was so surprised, because usually my wraps don't even look like this, but I was highly impressed with myself. Like, I put it on for the camera. But anyway, so now I'm just going to take that side and wrap the hair around. Literally, I'm just wrapping the hair around itself, sort of like a tornado, sort of like a cyclone. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm just wrapping the hair around itself. And I'm sort of holding it with my hands to keep it in place. So as you can see, there's hair like stuck up in the middle. Like I said, I'm not perfect. It's not perfect. So I'm just going to like kind of like tuck it down or make it kind of flat. So yeah, I'm just going to keep brushing my hair until it's nice and smooth and I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to wrap it up with my satin scarf.
Okay, so the second technique that I do is wrap my hair in a really high bun, and I use a satin scrunchie just because it's not that harsh on the hair. It won't leave a, like a really defined demarcation line or mark of demarcation in your hair. So definitely use a satin scrunchie. So I just put my hair up into a high bun and I sleep with it like that. And I do this every day that I'm not wrapping my hair. And I really love the look that it gives. It gives you like a nice wave, effortless look like your girl next door, like you just woke up out of bed. And it just looks ugh. like I'll insert a picture right here. And also during this time is usually the second and third week. And I will also nourish my scalp if it feels really itchy or if I see some flakes or if it's dry or anything like that. This is also the time where I'll nourish my scalp. And I only usually do this one to two times a week because I don't really want an oily, oily scalp. That's just not a good look. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do that, the products I use and all of that. All right guys, so this is day 20. So I'm gonna show you guys how I nourish my scalp and another way that I preserve my hair at night. So at this point, my scalp is itchy. I just want to scratch it. So I'm going to show you guys what I do to, you know, get this together. So the number one thing that I use is this Cantu Shea Butter Dry Co-Wash with apple cider vinegar and tea tree oil. This is a bomb.com. It's pretty much a dry shampoo. I also like to use almond oil as well as the tea tree essential oil. So right now I'm just parting my hair off, seeing where all the, you know, dandruff is and wherever it itches, that's where I'm going to apply the product. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my dry shampoo by Cantu and as you can see there's no white powder or anything like that and I love this stuff and because it has tea tree oil and apple cider vinegar it is very very good for the scalp so yeah I'm just gonna spray that on all the spots where it's like really itchy and where there's dandruff and all of that I'm just gonna spray it down and then sort of like tap it in with my fingers so the next thing I do is go in with my almond oil and I mix it with my tea tree oil and I just take a very little bit of this and I apply it to my scalp and again in all the areas where it's very itchy and where there is dandruff because obviously I want to minimize that as good as possible and it's just going to make the scalp look a lot healthier. And because of the tea tree oil you're going to notice that your scalp is going to tingle a little bit and it's going to feel so amazing. You're going to have like a cooling effect. And as you can see, I'm sort of picking out all of the big dandruff pieces that I see because that's kind of gross. <laughs> and I also have to get my edges as well as my nape. And then I like to give myself a, you know, just a full scalp massage and it just feels amazing. As you can see, my eyes are like rolling to the back of my head. And I don't think I mentioned, but whenever I'm nourishing my scalp, this is what I do to my hair at nighttime. And it keeps my hair from being super duper oily in the morning. So I'm just taking my satin scrunchie and putting my hair into a high bun and sort of just wrapping the hair around itself. And this is going to create really nice effortless, you know, sort of like a body wave type of um, look. It literally looks like you just woke up out of bed and your hair is popping and it's going to look a lot fuller. So I do really like this as well. Okay, so the third technique is pretty straightforward. Usually on the third week, I will wand curl my hair. And I know it's adding extra heat, but if you think about it, I never added heat on my hair the entire time that my hair was straight. So I feel like adding that little bit more heat is not a big deal, at least to me. So this is where I want to curl my hair and then it will let my hair last another week. So it gives you really, really beautiful curls and it just looks so bomb. So yeah, that's the third thing I do. And if I'm not going to do wand curls, I'll just do regular styles to my hair, like put my hair up into a bun, a ponytail. You guys know the rest. Okay, so we are reaching a month. This is day 29, and this is when I decide to do wand curls instead of three weeks in. So as you can see, my hair is looking kind of crazy. Um, it's kind of crinkly and everything like that, puffy. Like, look at this hair. But we are going to revive this. We are going to make it look bomb, okay? Just wait on it. So the products that I'll be using for this is the Chi 44 Iron Guard, my Chi Silk Infusion, as well as this... OGX Smoothing Shea Sleek Humidity Blocking Hairspray. That was a long one. As well as this wand curler. Not sure the barrel size and not sure the brand, but we're just going to use it. So I'm going to spray my hair with the Iron Guard to make sure that my hair is nice and protected. But like I said, this is the first time I'm actually putting heat on my hair since I straightened my hair. So I'm all good. 
and now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the cheese silk infusion just to make sure that my hair is nice and shiny and smooth And now I'm just going to section my hair off into small sections and this is going to make sure that my curls last a really long time because if I do big sections my curls are going to be super loose and it's not going to last me a long time. So I'm just taking small size sections and wand curling my hair and I just leave it on for about 10 to 15 seconds. So the trick to making my wand curls last super long is um, I just leave it on for about 10 to 15 seconds and once it's time to take it off I sort of try to catch the curl before it falls and then I spray it down with the hairspray and that hairspray is the best hairspray that I ever tried it literally locked in my hair it did not move at all and as you can see I'm just going ham with the hairspray forgot to mention that you do want to detangle your hair every time you're doing a section because that's going to give you really nice smooth curls so again I'm just going in with the wand curl and I'm doing it away from my face holding it for 10 to 15 seconds we're just gonna cuff it and scrunch it up and then we're gonna go ham with the hairspray like literally ham and this does not leave a crunch on your hair at all the smell is not the most amazing smell but it doesn't smell like hairspray either it smells I don't know I can't describe it but the stuff is bomb you guys definitely have to try it out so I'm literally just gonna do the same thing to the rest of my head I'm just gonna use small size sections detangle it use the wand curl for about 10 to 15 seconds and then hold the curl in place and spray on that hairspray and this style took me about 45 minutes to an hour especially because I was filming and all that but yeah it's totally totally worth it because as I'm doing this voiceover which it is a month and three days later my hair is still in these wand curls but I gotta wash it unfortunately and now I'm just gonna take my hands and lightly rake through it I'm not gonna do it too much because I do want my curls to last and throughout the day they are gonna drop they are gonna get fuller so I'm just lightly doing it and these are my final results. I will also post some pictures to show you guys how it lasted throughout the week as well. But they look so, so bomb. I love it. I feel like I just got a fresh sew in. I have some body weight, some Cambodian weave, like, you know, some wet and wavy type-ish. That's what I feel like right now. So yeah, these are pretty much the ways that I maintain my hair for up to three weeks to a month. Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely leave it down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. I love you guys. I feel like I'm talking so much with my hands. Oh yeah, and if you guys want to see a straight to curly video, see if my hair reverts. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Is it? Um, definitely leave a comment down below and give me a thumbs up so I know to do that. And I will see you guys on the next video. I love y'all. Deuces on the road to 500k, 500k, let's get there.